Coach Ox here. Sorry, we're having a little technical difficulties. The first time doing here at home. Um, so yesterday we did back take submissions with the gi, and today we're going to do back take submissions, submissions from the back, no gi. Right before we get started, we're going to start with a warm up. Your feet. All right, you guys are going to begin. Start running in place. Jumping jacks. Jumping twists. knees. Jumpy jacks. Ready? Fifteen. Count. Your breath. Left arm. Left over behind your head. Good 
I'm gonna put some music on here. It's kind of bland, okay? So I hope everybody, we'll try to keep it rated G. What are you guys watching? Switch arms? Really Let's go at a different angle. All right, shake it out. Stretch your quads. Right leg. Tuck it back. Grab it to something if you can't hold your position. Left leg, left leg, switch legs. All right, on your butts. Butterfly stretch. Left leg in front of you. Both legs apart. Both legs apart first. Lean forward to stretch. Right leg. Right, stand up. Touch your toes. Right, stand up straight. Right, you can stretch your hip flexors now. Right? You're gonna keep one leg straight, you're gonna you're gonna bend the other leg. So you put you make your right leg straight, bend your left leg just like this, and you push your hip this way and you're gonna lean just like this. Stretch your hip flexors. Switch sides. Spread your feet, standing up, back straight, and touch the mat. Cherry pickers.
your butts and your backs in it. Sit ups. 25. You ready? Begin. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leg lifts. You ready? Lean your back. 15. Straight legs out. And begin. Right up. Left leg. Back down to the middle. Those are your pants, you can do it on a push-up positions. Everybody else on your elbows, ready? Up, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Alright guys, so yesterday we worked on back submissions with the gi, today we're going to do a back submissions with no gi. Alright, put step aside. Partners on the ground. Hope you guys can hear me. All right. 
first submission, we're going to start with the most basic, rear naked choke. Okay? You want to get your locks in. From this position, you're going to angle it down for me real quick. Alright, come real close. Just bring it closer to me. Stick the one up and bring it closer to me. Okay, from this position, if you're coming down. Okay, you're going to take your hand, right or left, and you're going to sneak it under the neck, just like this. Now, if the person has his chin tucked, real simple, you go up to the forehead, you lift it up, and you snake it at the same time, just like that. Okay, you want to try to get the blade of your forearm right under the chin. Again, he tucks his chin, he tucks his chin, you're going to elevate the forehead, and go right under the neck. Now, at this position, you want to try to get your bicep and your forearm trapping the sides of the neck right here. That's an effective rear naked choke. Okay, so you touch the chin and you go as deep as possible. If you have to, grab the shoulder. But me personally, I like to try to reach for my shoulder personally. Bring it closer. Try to bring it closer to me so these can see how close. Yes, perfect. Just like that. All right, hope you guys can see better, so we'll put it flat. Now, up close, we can go from here. I like to, me personally, I like to pull my hand back, just like this, so I can get it deep to try to reach for my shoulder. I'm gonna take my head, I'm gonna put more pressure against the angle of my forearm, right here. At this point, it's already starting to get uncomfortable, okay? Now, once you assume this position, you're gonna take your hand, Make a credit card with the back of your hand, just like this. Make a real skinny little credit card. Now you can insert the credit card, try to get some cash. You can go right behind the neck, and you push it right behind the head, just like this. Just like that. That's the first submission. Again, proper neck and choke. Here, touch his chin. I'm going to elevate, shoot it right under. Right here, I'm going to try to go reach for my chin. I'm going to push, push. Push, I'm gonna try to reach for my shoulder. I'm gonna spear him that neck, try to sneak, sneak it right behind to the side. I wanna try to throw it right here in the bend of his neck. See how when he puts it up, there's a little gap? So, it's gonna be like this. From here, I'm gonna spear him. I'm gonna snake it right behind the head. Just like that. It gets really, really, really tight. Okay? Again, from the front angle. You go closer. And let's go this angle. There you go. That's good. Now, again, I'm going to take my hands, elevate the forehead, and as the, elevate, as the forehead's elevating, I'm going to shoot it right under the neck. Boom, just like that. Okay? I'm going to try to reach my hand for the back of, his, the back of my shoulder. If I can't reach my shoulder, I'm going to just grab his shoulder just like that. Either or would work. Okay, it's good for security. As long as you have control of the neck, that's what you want. Then, I like to put my head just like this. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna snake it right behind and try to push it. Move over. Okay, so those of you who don't have a partner, okay, you're gonna take your hand, like I said, you're just gonna sit behind your opponent. Elevate the forehead, go onto the neck, try to reach for your shoulder. If you can't reach for your shoulder, Try to grab your opponent's shoulder just like this. You're gonna latch it on. No thumbs, just latch it on like this and hug it really, really tight. Then, at this point, you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna spear him it, and you're gonna push. Try to push his head towards that dip of your arm with, with the assistance of your head. So it's gonna be just like this. You're gonna hug it really tight, you're gonna flex your arms really hard, really tight. That's gonna secure the choke, all right? So I'm gonna get the partners up, I'm gonna we're going to do a couple roll, roll sessions with that, and then we're going to move on to the next submission. Okay? No, that's good. That's perfect. Is that front of the camera? Elevate. Right on. Grab your shoulder. If you can't grab your shoulder, what do you do? You grab his shoulder. Good. Now, chest to chest. Spear hand head. Now big chest, big chest, and squeeze. Very good. You hear that cough? That was a really, really deep choke. Okay, switch partners and do it again. 
to the partners. Am I up in the middle? <laughs> Now, attack number two. Oh, yeah. Pick it up just a slight. Good. Perfect. Attack number two. Elevate it hard and go for a shake. Now, let's say he defends that choke. He goes for a tight, tight defense, just like this. Okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to expose this elbow up to get my hand to get my underhooks under this arm. Okay? So. He's going to be too occupied trying to keep the pressure off his neck. So you want to keep the pressure on his neck just like this. Okay? And that second pressure, I'm going to pull back and I'm lean. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to pull it under the elbow just like that. Now, don't go too deep under the arm where you can get yours trapped. You want to go just right below the elbow, right here. Okay? So you're going to fish right under the elbow. Turn your hand upside down and bring his elbow up just like that. Okay? Just like this. Now, from here. Turn your wrist down, pick it up, throw your wrist over it, your arm over his head, just like that. See how that control is? Now we have a square just in the arm, just like this. Okay? Now we're gonna do a kimura from here. Just gonna take your hand, you're gonna fish inside the square, just like that. You grab your wrist. Do not grab with your thumbs, just like this, because you're gonna, it's not an effective control. Okay? So you go up into the square. I'm going to lash it just like this. I'm going to pull, pull the elbow towards my chest, and then rotate. Just like that. If that does not work, you just fall. Fall to the ground, and then turn your body. Okay? One more time. Go for the rear naked choke. He defends. Just like this. I'm going to take my hand and fish right under the elbow, not under the armpit under the elbow okay so if i go under the armpit he he can pinch it now my hand's trapped if i go under the elbow he can try to push down all he wants he has a hard time and here's the good thing about that so if i go under the elbow he pushes it down right there he's too occupied rotate shoot over just like this take my hand i'm gonna grab it just like that okay his head is away from my body now I'm going to fall to the side when I'm elevating the elbow, pulling it to my chest. I'm going to turn and paint the sky with this finger just like this. Just like that. Again, from this angle, turn. Now, from this position, I don't want you guys lifting your elbow to rotate. Try to rotate your body in that, that angle. So let's go this direction. Go from under here. Push under the elbow, my trap, snake under and grab. Okay, push, punch over, get it from here. I'm gonna fall. Now from this position, I'm gonna turn my body and elevate. Just like this. You wanna bring your elbow as close as you can to the body. Once it's secured to the body, it's a done deal. From here, he has nowhere to escape it now. From here, I'm just point down. Just like this, point down to the sky. Boom. The higher you get your elbow to your neck, if I get it up this high, it's already uncomfortable for his shoulder. So go up here and bring it up to my chin, and then we'll take down. It's a really tight submission. Okay? Try with different partners. Okay, step one. Now, leg fall, you got fall to the side. Boom, just like this. Now, flat the elbow to 
your body. Just like this. Now pull the elbow to your face. Um, point the elbow down, down, elbow to your elbow. Just like this. See how it is? Really, really tight. Which partners? We're gonna choke. We're here. Okay, defend. With both hands. Okay, now fish under the elbow. Don't start falling back, just sit under the elbow, not on your arm. There, now from there. Grab the wrist and rotate under. Inside the square. There. Ball, rotate inside the square. Rotate inside the square. Grab your wrist now. You want to bring your elbow closer to your body, lift it up. Okay, now point the wrist down. Just like that. Very good. Okay. Turn to the side. Am I? You're going to do it? Side. Your tail. Turn to the side. Let's do one. Move on. That's it. There it is. Move up a little bit more. Under the elbow, but under the armpit. Under the elbow. No, no, no. Fish under the elbow. Right here. There, there you go. There. Now rotate. Now fall to the side. Now bring the elbow deep to your body. Now rotate the hand to the back of your body. Lift it up. Now rotate this down. Just like this. Rotate, rotate. You want to rotate his hand backward. There it is. Alright? Did you guys get it? I can't really see if anybody gets it or not, so we're just going to go to the third submission from here. Now, see for position. Okay, this one's really sneaky. So you're gonna go from here, you're gonna bait the Renika choke. Okay, he goes to block that Renika choke. I'm gonna pull my hand out, just like this. No, actually, I'll leave it in here. Okay, I'm gonna fish my hand and punch it up to the sky, and I'm gonna open his hands up. Do you remember yesterday with the gi when we opened up the lapel? This is gonna be opening up the arm. So from the seat belt, we're gonna punch up and we're gonna open up just like this. Okay, now, from this position, I want to snake my hand around his head, push it to the side, just like this. Now, at this position, I'm just take my leg, fish it over his neck, just like that, okay? Once I'm right here, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna reach for the back of my ankle, I'm gonna squeeze, and then I'm gonna extend my hips, just like that. Okay? A different angle. Okay, grab the seat belt. I'm gonna snake it up. So I'm gonna drag my forearm up in his bicep just like this. From here, drag my bicep, exposing that arm just to keep that security so he can't go back and try to defend. Now, as I'm doing that, I'm gonna fall to the side, push his head away, just like this, keeping control of this arm right here to my Elbow to my chest. I'm gonna pinch it. I don't care if I have to try to tap my chest, okay? As long as I keep the security. I'm gonna push the head to bring the leg all the way around just like this, okay? Now look at this. I'm already around this carotid from here, all right? Turn that angle just a little bit more so you can see my leg. A little bit more, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's those pretty feet. There you go. Now, I'm gonna reach around his head. I'm gonna grab the ankle. And from here, I just extend, just like that, okay? Even if he has his hand and you go under the arm, lift your arm up, and you end up under this arm, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter from this position. Once you have the security from here to here, you're just gonna reach. If you can reach your ankles, you reach for your shins and pull. It's even tighter from here, okay? You grab it. If you can't reach your ankle, Pull the arm. You grab it from here and then re grab. Just like that. 
again. You can go from here. Seat belt. Okay. Take the hand, face up to the sky, and open up the gate. All right, I'm gonna fall to the side. Just like this, falling to the side, pushing the head. Throw the head, leg over, and grab my ankle, just like this. Then, extend. Those of you who have no key, or no partner, okay? It's real simple, or if you even have a dummy. Do I have my dummy? Mm -hmm. I have a standing dummy only, huh? Like Alright, those guys who don't they don't have don't have a partner, okay? With no key. Grab the seat belt. Go under the bicep just like this. Open the gate. Okay, as I'm opening the gate, I'm gonna fall to that side to secure that arm. Okay? Push the head and throw it, your leg right over the head, the neck, just like this. Now once the leg is over the neck. I'm gonna reach around the head. See the little triangle right here? Reach around, the, reach around the head, grab the ankle, I'm gonna elevate my hips. I'm gonna elevate my hips right here while I'm squeezing my leg. I'm gonna pull my arm, squeeze my leg, and pull my arm at the same time and elevate my hip. Just like that. I'm gonna keep this security and pull. Just like that. Okay, let's try with a different partner. When you get partnered up. Let's get to the one so you can show that the little ones can do it too. Just like that. Okay, now, seat belt position. Open the gate. Punch up just like this. See how the security is in the elbow bend? Right there, now fall to your side. Boom, just like that. Now, take the hand, push the head away, and throw your leg all the way around the head. Boom, just like this, right on the neck. Grab the ankle, squeeze, and there it is. Switch partners. Move all the way down. Move all the way down. There it is again. Okay, you ready? Do it at a front angle. Let's try doing it at a front angle. All right there, face the camera so everybody can see. Move back a little bit so you can see every detail. There you go. Now, grab, grab the position. Okay, open the gate. Very good. Now, fall, push the head away at the same time. Boom. Throw a leg around the neck. And grab. And squeeze and press. There you go. Switch partners. Open the gate. Fall. Push the head. And throw the leg over the neck. Grab and squeeze, very good. All right guys, let me wire you now. The last submission to this combination, right? For those of you, that attack is really, really, really effective if you have short legs, because it gets even tighter. Now, from this position, okay? I've got the seatbelt again. Let's say I miss the head, okay? So I'm gonna fall. Actually, let's move down a little bit, a little bit more. This way. There you go. I've got the seatbelt position from here, okay? Now, I'm gonna open the gate. Look what's exposed, people. Your arm. So from here, I'm gonna open the gate. I'm gonna fall and push the head. Just like this. Now look at this. Instead of going from the arm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pinch my knees together. I'm going to grab the wrist, go for that arm bar. Okay, do it front face forward. Alright, so I'm going to grab my seatbelt position, fall back, I'm going to fall back, open the gate, push the head, boom. Grab my grip. And fall and arm bar. Just like that. All right? Let's turn from the top position when my back is facing the camera. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
It's just so they can see the angle. The different angles right here. Right there, so that's good. Okay. From here. The reason why I'm doing it this from an angle so you guys can see what I'm doing with my hands and my legs. So I'm falling back. Just like this. Pushing my head down and throwing the leg over. Just down this way. Oh. Okay. And here. Pull me back. Falling to my side, pushing the head and opening the gate. Just like this. Okay, angle it again. Right there. Now, I'm going to take my hand, a little bit more, a little bit more. You go in, right there. I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to grab the wrist, and I'm going to pitch. From here, I just do the arm bar. Okay? Try it with different partners. Same time. So we're like all the way around now. Pinch your knees together. Just as long as you keep the security, it's fine. Now, grab the wrist and I'll take the arm bar. Very good. Push partners again. Seat belt position. Open the gate. You're gonna fall and push, throw the arms arm over. Pinch the knees together and elevate. Very good. Can I stand up? Yeah. Alright, guys, on your feet. Alright guys, practice that at home, even if you don't have a partner, try to keep practicing those drills on your dummy, your homemade dummy, alright? Those moves are very, very effective, I've done them personally in tournaments, so again, try to practice them. Everything I show you on these, on these, on these videos that I do, whether it's no gi or gi, they're very, very effective and they're, and they're, battle, they're battle tested, okay? So, hope to see you guys soon, stay safe, practice social distancing. Post.